am Abby, Acting Audience Growth Manager at Condé Nast Traveller. And I'm Olivia Morelli, Condé Nast Traveller's Social Media Editor. And this is our guide to Covent Garden. Covent Garden is one of London's most visited tourist destinations, but it's more than just apple markets and theatres. Home to some of the city's coolest hotels and chicest boutiques, it's the perfect example of London's history coming together in a mix of old meets new. Here are some of the Covent Garden hotspots you don't want to miss. Choosing Keeping is a hidden gem of a shop, home to some of the most beautiful stationery you've ever seen. I get way too excited about stationery shopping, so this spot is heaven for me. From pastel coloured fountain pens to quirky candles and reams of eye-catching wrapping paper, the store has everything you never knew you needed. I would be the worst interior designer, just be like, let's get all of this. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're not in the market for a new notebook, it's the ideal place to shop for gifts and trinkets for others. Also look, these tail as well. The brand favours goods from small, mostly family-owned businesses, and there's plenty to choose from. It looks so short. Yeah. <laughs> Do some damage. Yeah. <laughs> Covent Garden is traditionally home to the Square's fruit market, but now there's all manner of delicatessens and eateries. For me, no visit is complete without heading into Neil's Yard Dairy for a slice of something creamy. Offering a huge selection of British and Irish cheeses, the store is a treasure trove of dairy goodness. And if you don't know where to begin, the helpful cheesemongers are only too happy to point you in the right direction. I've heard the, um, gore with carefully. <laughs> it's meant to be amazing. Sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that is smell it. Is that so good. From creamy Lancashire to Stilton and everything in between, along with some delicious cheddars, it's hard not to get carried away by the sheer choice on offer. Trust us, your dinner parties will never be the same. Thank Have you. a good day. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Oh, yum. So good. <laughs> you won't go far in London without happening upon a vintage shop, but not all have quite as much variety as Pop Boutique. For fun, frivolous clothes that will truly bring joy, it's perfection. I like to spend a couple of hours browsing through the rails and trying on my new finds before I commit. Look at this great shirt. So great. And it helps to have a staff that will indulge your whims and offer some sartorial advice. Tropical shirt, anyone? Ave Mario is a wacky Italian restaurant just around the corner from Covent Garden Market. Split over three floors, it's a retro maximalist spot with monochrome walls, red velvet booths and neon signage. With classic Italian dishes from creamy burrata and garlicky focaccia to pillowy homemade pastas, you're going to want to order it all. What's inside this one? Carbonara pasta. Oh my god. So egg yeah. yolk and... Delight. Yeah? So good. The cocktails are pretty special too. There are inventive twists on the best classic cocktails. Our favorite was definitely the A-Cup Mojito, a mix of three different rums blended with maple cinnamon syrup, apple and lime juice, served in a boob-shaped mug. Yeah, I feel like this is one of the ones that'll hit you after. It looks really strong. <laughs> you definitely only need one of those. Thanks so much. Thank Thank you. You. Bye. Bye. Okay. The theatre in the Royal Opera House was built in 1858 and has been home to some of the world's most beautiful performances, from Bizet's Carmen and Puccini's Tosca to ballets such as Swan Lake, Romeo and Juliet and The Sleeping Beauty.
Today, there are around 150 performances a season. Plus, the theatre is often used as a rehearsal space for famous artists and musicians. This is my re-entering into society, post COVID dress. <laughs> <laughs> See me in the club with that. <laughs> Quite a statement. Some great stairs to walk down in Covent Garden. <laughs> Just across the road from the Royal Opera House is The Nomad, perfectly placed to fall into bed at the end of a long day shopping, eating and exploring the neighbourhood. This grand hotel is the ultimate spot to unwind. The Nomad proudly stands up to its theatrical neighbour with bold design and extravagant decor. We were lucky enough to stay in The Nomad's grandest room, the Royal Opera Suite. Stretching across two floors, the suite comes with views of the Opera House, a ginormous chandelier, a standalone bathtub, and a walk-in wardrobe. This is lovely. I wish this could be my home inspo. Oh yeah. This is a bit of me. Nice and like a deep bath as well. Mm. You can really get in there. Yeah, fits knees and boobs. 